Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We are at BHP Water Park in Elizabeth Key and today it's Friday the 3rd of February 2023 and finally, finally the new jetty redeveloped at Men Street has opened. It was actually on Monday but I had zero time because I was actually in Adelaide which you will see some upcoming videos on the channel about Adelaide. Well, however, for the moment we're gonna take a look at it now. And of course, year 11 started in school, ATAR. Crazy amount of work, so I barely have any time, but I'll still do Friday night filming. So these redevelopment works originally started in, what was it, September? Yeah, it was actually September, like what the hell? And they said it was gonna take six weeks. Six? <laughs> it's actually been like 20, 22, 24 weeks, uh, like, yeah, because that's like, okay, not 24, not 24 weeks, like 20 weeks, because that's like five months, so October, November, December, January, February, yes, five months, 20 weeks instead of six, like, typical transport delays, but seriously, like, what, that's over triple the amount of time they said it was going to take, so, now it's finally done, a new Men's Street Jetty, much more similar to the Elizabeth Key one. I sort of have an idea of what it looks like because I've seen it before when it was under construction. But now it's done and I get to see exactly what it looks like and so we'll just take the ferry across now and take a look at it. If you haven't seen my original ferry video that I made, I filmed one to explain all the ferry stuff and everything about it, 35 minutes long. I'll link it in the corner, make sure you go watch that. So here's Shelley Taylor-Smith running the service today. And we're gonna hop on board. Okay, so we're on board Shelly, which is the oldest ferry. Sometimes on weekends it's usually not being used, but it is used on weekdays. Now, the weird thing is, if you look out the window, where is the third ferry? Look, it's not there, as you can see. It's not parked there. Does this mean the Main Street Jetty Redevelopment Works also include a new ferry? storage area or is it broken or something I don't know but I'll go check it out right now arriving at the new jetty you can take a quick look outside there it is no longer parking up there very cool we'll get a closer look and as soon as we arrive we can see the new tactile paving and floating platform on the water this is a much improvement because with the floating platform the platform can move with the tide so there is always level boarding definitely good for um, people with mobility aids and wheelchairs and things it's the same as at Elizabeth Key now And here we go. This is the new bridge that you walk across. Some sort of weird, opaque thing there, which just makes striped lines of the water through there. And then you walk straight across this platform, which is the same as in Elizabeth Key. It's got like a bendy bit at the end and the start, so it can move to adjust its incline according to where the floating platform is located. And they have expanded the shelter as well. And what is this? Look, here are the ticket machines. This one has a brand new font. I haven't seen this anywhere, not even at airport line stations. Wow, first time I've seen that. Let's take a photo of that. And the new zone information, all brand new signs. Nice long bench for waiting here now. And the cat map is on this side as well, with all the cat descriptions. Walking time, 8 minutes to the zoo, yeah. That's right, I still don't know why the ferries say that they stop at the zoo. It's like the most silly thing for tourists. I mean, it just confuses them. So yeah, it parks there now. That's the furthest out it's ever parked before. 
here's the steamboat and that's it so basically right around here a little bit further just where the new platform starts that's as far out as the old jetty used to go so it used to park about 10-15 meters closer in and of course the temporary location was here on this little jetty for the last 20 weeks and here's the whole timetable as well half hour on weekends Yeah, there's some fair evaders. Look at them going in and they're with a family rather with ten children. I don't know what the hell that is and like oh yeah, we'll be right. Only five are allowed. Anyway. Look you can actually catch a ferry at like midnight on Friday. Operated like eleven fifty five PM on this, in the summer. That's cool. Mm, let's see. Is the driver gonna stop them? Did he count them? Nah. He just let them all through, didn't even care. Oh well, I guess they were right. They did a bit, were able to fare evade. Ah! Oh, they also put the new screen here. With the safety video, although it's so dark you can barely see it. Anyway, that's about it now. I think they just rotated this shelter to make it face in this direction. It looks like a new place though. Pretending like this is some new pier that they constructed. Now we have three ferry piers. <laughs> the ferries used to actually go down there in that direction towards that little building long ago. Yeah. Very special to have the new pier here. Also, on these ticket machines, they have specific things to the ferry now. It says, one way, purchase a two-section ticket, return, purchase a one-zone ticket to return within two hours, or purchase a nine-zone ticket to return within three hours. <laughs> That's the hidden thing not many people know. Yep. Yeah, and I don't think there's any other stations with specific information for the ferry. See, only catching the ferry, and it says that, catching other services, purchase a zone ticket and refer to a ticket to the machine, vending machine for details. That's cool, I've never seen specific information like that. Well, ferry is departing now. The first departure I've seen from the new dock. It's very strange, you know, because I've been so used to the old one, now there's this brand new one. And I'm gonna see the same thing like many, many more times. Who's the fairy is honking to those people over there? That's funny. Well, now we can take a better look at the breach since there's no one here. You can see, I don't know what this weird material is, just striped lines through it. Look at this, it's like some magical thing there. And there's actually an automatic gate. There isn't one for the way up on the left side, like there is at the other uh, terminal or jetty. But here, there there is one here. Transfer ferry Elizabeth Key. Caution gate closed without warning. So yeah, it has its own gate. And there it is. Here's the new floating jetty. Oh wow. This actually makes me feel like motion sick because I see the jetty moving, and I feel like I'm moving even though I'm not. And here's the new jetty and the ramp, you can see everything, there goes the ferry now. Shelley Taylor Smith departing, you can see this Perth Zoo on the side, like there's three stops, what is it, a canal to Perth Zoo? No. Off it goes, we'll take a nice shot, that's definitely a beautiful shot right there, as the ferry departs. Shelly Tiller Smith as well. But there is no sign, yeah I just realized there's no sign of Tricia. I saw Philip Pendle going back, coming back here now. Tricia is nowhere to be seen.
Maybe it's broken down or something. There's definitely not any storage area here. Off goes the ferry. And the manual ramp is still here though to really improve boarding access even though it's already great. Oh my god, you know I rare I like never feel motion sick, but this looking at this jetty move while I'm not moving, this is actually really sickening. And ma making me feel dizzy. Very very weird feeling looking at this. You probably can't see it on the camera, but just come stand here once once behind this gate and look at the jetty moving. It just makes you feel so dizzy. Yeah, water is probably the most sickening of transport modes. And this, look, the roof's just shaking right there. See there? Anyway, I've already made a 10 minute video now, and that'll be the end of it. Thanks for watching. I don't know where Trisha is, it must have broken down. Someone tell me in the comments if you know. I'll catch Philip Pendle back, which is coming in soon. I might just film the arrival, and that'll be the end of the video. Bye! And here it is, Philip Pendle, the second ferry of Transperth, arriving now into the new jetty. No idea where she is, as they said. I'll just watch it come in.